Welcome to the Larry Page module from the Modern Entrepreneur Success Story series. By the end of this module, you will learn a brief biography of Larry Page and identify how he took his first steps toward success. Learn some curious facts about Larry Page. Un understand why Google is not just a search engine. Understand the importance of Steve Jobs' advice to Larry. Learn Larry's rules for management and learn from some of his inspiring thoughts and from his success. What do you know about Larry Page? Let's go through the key highlights of his life. Larry Page was born Lawrence Page on March 26, 1973, in East Lansing, Michigan. In 1991, after earning a Bachelor of Science degree in engineering from the University of Michigan, he decided to concentrate on computer engineering at Stanford University. Then, in 1996, Larry Page and Bryn, his partner in crime, created a search engine that listed results according to the popularity of the pages. They called it Google. After raising $1 million from family, friends, and other investors, the pair launched the company in 1998. Eric Schmidt was appointed CEO in 2001, while Page and Bryn became the presidents of products and technology, respectively. Headquartered in the heart of California's Silicon Valley, Google held its initial public offering in August 2004, making Page and Bryn billionaires. Page married Lucinda Southworth, a research scientist, in 2007. They have one child. In September 2013, Page was ranked number 13 on the Forbes 400 list of the richest people in America. When Larry Page was a 22-year-old graduate student at Stanford, he woke up in the middle of the night with a vision. In it, he somehow managed to download the entire web, and by examining the links between the pages, he saw the world's information in an entirely new way. What Larry wrote down that night became the basis for an algorithm. He called it PageRank and used it to power a new web search engine called Backrub. The name didn't stick, but the algorithm was a major success and the basis of what we know today as Google. Here are some curious facts to give you more of a glimpse into the man that is Larry Page. Larry's parents were in the computer science field, and so their home was always filled with all sorts of gadgets, computers, and science magazines. Larry Page was the first child in his elementary school to submit an assignment in a word-processed form. Larry's father, Carl Page, was one of the first few Ph.D. graduates from the University of Michigan. He graduated in 1965, when the computer science field was still in its early years. Larry Page dated Marissa Mayer prior to his marriage with Lucy Southworth. Marissa Mayer is now the president and CEO of Yahoo, making her the youngest CEO amongst the Fortune 500 companies. In August 2004, when Google started its initial public offering, Larry Page wanted the buyers to take a test prior to buying Google stock. His philosophy behind this was that the buyers should be well aware of what Google is all about. However, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission did not allow it. Larry has been suffering from a mysterious illness. Apparently, the illness made him lose his voice. Not much is known about this condition. Google started as a search engine and then broke the barriers to become much more than that. Take a look at the different applications they developed or acquired. Before his death in 2011, Steve Jobs gave a valuable piece of advice to Larry Page. He told him that his company was trying to do too much. Page acknowledged that Jobs was right. He wanted to do new things regardless of how weird and unrelated they seem to Google's core search and advertising business, and yet still find a way to manage them to fruition. Taking action, Page then separated Google's lucrative ad-related business, including Android mobile software and the video site YouTube, from the company's wide-ranging efforts on self-driving cars, human longevity, internet access balloons, the Nest connected home devices, and more, each of which became discrete subsidiaries. Larry Page abides by certain rules for management. 
Cultivate audacious ideas. Page urges his team to believe in audacious ideas. By tackling big ideas that could really change the world, you attract incredibly smart people and achieve something worthwhile, even if it's not your original goal, he said at the Google Faculty Summit in 2009. Avoid bureaucracy. If you have an idea, do not care about the paperwork. Share it with the team and try it out. What could go wrong? Recognize the significance of small moves. Google's staff persistently tinkers with its products, adding new features and improving the usability of Gmail, its search engine, and Android. They improve and improvise all the time. Page told an audience in Europe that he gets a new build on his Android phone each day. It continues to work better and better every day. Be quick, be concise. Page is working to cultivate a faster, more nimble management approach at Google, which employs 26,000 people around the world. He has asked staff to give him 60-word updates or pitches on their current projects, according to the Wall Street Journal. Persevere. Three of the six people recently promoted to lead Google's major product divisions are among the first 10 or so employees the company hired, dating back to 1998. It's worth analyzing some great quotes from great thinkers like Larry Page. 1. It's very hard to fail completely if you aim high enough. Here, the old saying is apt. Shoot for the moon, and you just may reach the stars. That is, you should set extremely high goals, so that even if you miss the mark, you will have pushed yourself to come close enough and you will end up still achieving something worthwhile. 2. If we were motivated by money, we would have sold the company a long time ago and ended up on a beach. This quote signifies that while it's important to consider the bottom line of a business, that should not be the main driving force behind a business. There needs to be a clear mission and vision that everyone needs to work towards. And that mission and vision should be more meaningful than just money. 3. It's hard to keep things moving, and that's always a big trick. I think for me, the key is setting really big goals. This quote signifies the importance of constantly evolving to keep things fresh and new. It's great to achieve goals that work towards one big goal. That's the key. To have one big goal to work towards, and the smaller goals keep you moving towards the big goal. 4. Sometimes it's important to wake up and stop dreaming. When a really big dream shows up, grab it. This quote signifies the importance of action. It's great to have a dream. But a dream will remain unrealized and just a dream if it is not followed by action to turn it into reality. 5. Have a healthy disregard for the impossible. While it's good to be realistic about your abilities and limitations, don't easily accept that something is impossible. Work for it, and you just might turn what other people said is impossible into something great. Here are a few lessons we can learn from Larry Page's journey. You never know which idea will take you to success. In addition, you need to build a team with people you trust. Surround yourself with the best people. You should note that Page's developments are based on his creativity and his aspiration to make life easier for millions of people. One major secret to the Google CEO's success is found in this phrase. He knew where he wanted to go, and once you know where you're going, it's much easier to get there. To summarize, Larry ignored conventional wisdom and followed his own instincts. So, learn to hone your instincts, and then you too can be the exception that even the best and the brightest will line up to support. This world needs more exceptional people. Act like one, and you too may beat the odds. Congratulations! You have completed the Larry Page module from the Modern Entrepreneur Success Story series. Be sure to check out the other modules in the series.